parents had the option of choosing what instrument their child would play, it probably wouldn't be the drums. Second only to maybe a pipe organ or some giant harp, drums are notoriously the most intrusive instrument to bring into your life. They basically take up half a bedroom, they're way more expensive than most instruments, and if you play for long enough, the cops show up. Yet somehow people all over the world sign off on bringing this massive instrument into their lives, into their homes, and they spend countless hours hitting them with sticks. And I think all sorts of people gravitate towards the drums for a few really obvious reasons. Drums have this unique cool factor that a lot of other instruments don't have. They can be really primitive and aggressive and kind of barbaric, and at the same time also nuanced and subtle and therapeutic. But no matter what your relationship to the drums might be, in this video I want to talk to drummers and non-drummers alike and go through a few of the less commonly talked about reasons why playing the drums is just an awesome thing to do. I'm Adam the Orlando Drummer and here's five weird reasons why you should play the drums. Most non-drummers don't know that playing drums is essentially a lifelong math game. If you think back to when you learned about division in school, you might remember using a pizza to understand the concept of division or even fractions. But what your math teacher didn't tell you is that this is also the same mathematical concept that drummers use to play almost everything. Quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, triplets, quintuplets, these are all just different ways that we can cut the pizza. The pizza being time in this example, and believe it or not, you already do this all the time. Uh, if you think about a year divided into months, divided into quarters or weeks or days or hours or minutes or seconds, subdividing time is a thing that we're all very good at, we just don't think about it in terms of drumming very often, but it's really the same thing. Now as mathematical and nerdy as playing the drums can be, it's simultaneously not that at all. Even though learning the drums is very math heavy by nature, this is rarely what brings people into the instrument. Drums draw people in because this instrument requires equal use of the right brain. Playing drums is shockingly artsy, it's creative, it's expressive, and it's even an emotional thing to take on. When you watch an experienced drummer play, you're seeing this amazing synergy of the left brain and the right brain working together. The mind is solving math problems while also painting a musical picture at the same time. And actually, this is a really hard thing to replicate in other activities. There just aren't a lot of other activities that require creativity and analytics from our mind at the exact same time. Now, almost all people will gravitate towards one side of the brain, and you can learn a lot more about that by Googling brain dominance theory. But either way, I'm sure you have some kind of inclination towards being uh, more analytical or being a little bit more creative. And the beautiful thing about the drums is that this instrument is perfectly suited for either. If you wanted to approach the drums from a purely mathematical perspective, you have a super fun, lifelong, intellectual challenge waiting for you. And if you just want to swing for the fences and jam out to your favorite songs because it makes you feel amazing, you can do that too. But the coolest thing about this is that this instrument forces you to address both of these thinking styles. The creative types are eventually confronted with rhythmic challenges that can only be solved with the mathematical left brain, and the analytical folks quickly learn that skills like groove and feel and touch and texture, you can't always quantify those. You have to feel them using your right brain. playing drums is the most physical way to involve yourself with music. I think the most obvious benefit in this category of fitness would be cardio. If you prefer to play drums for an hour instead of going for a jog around your neighborhood, I think you can actually swap those two activities and have relatively similar cardiovascular benefits. But for me, it's never been about cardio as much as it has been total body fitness. Our bodies are built to work as one big, cohesive machine. And comfortably playing the drums means that all of these pieces and parts have to be healthy and in sync. In this video, I was going to list all of the muscle groups and the body parts that we use when we play drums, but it would actually be way faster to list the muscle groups and the body parts that we don't use when we play drums. From shoulders to arms to hips, legs, glutes, toes, you name it, nearly every inch of your physical body has to get involved in this activity. For me, playing the drums have always served as like a way to check in with my body, because if something is tight or sore or bothering me, I can usually feel it when I sit down to play drums because it's like I'm turning on the whole engine. Now, I don't think that being a drummer means you don't have to work out or that you're just inherently gonna live longer. That would be sick. But I do think that drums can serve as a foundation for overall physical fitness. If you can sit down at the drum set for 20 minutes a day, you're putting virtually every component of your being to work at the same time, both physically and mentally. So there are undoubtedly some long-term benefits there. Not a doctor, obviously, but I'm hoping this one falls under common sense. Moving and thinking 
These are good things. The online drum community is an interesting one for a lot of reasons. And as a drummer, this community can provide some serious value to you. From YouTube, to Facebook, to Instagram, to Reddit, there are literally tens of thousands of strangers interacting with each other every single day online purely to talk about the drums. And this exists in the guitar world, the bass world, the piano world as well. But there's a weird bond that drummers tend to have, and I don't always see that associated with other instruments. Remember that rhythm is a very specific thing to study. And I I think sometimes drummers have a lot of empathy for other drummers who are on that same musical journey. Even if someone has a totally different playing style than you, or let's say they've been playing for a lot longer than you, we're still on the same team. All drummers deal with the same mathematics uh, no matter what you happen to be studying. And the rhythmic challenges are just as difficult in high level jazz as they are in death metal. And I think it's this core idea of studying rhythm that brings drummers together in a really different way. Rhythm serves as this odd, common denominator and it allows us to make connections to other musicians that we otherwise might not make at all. Now do we have trolls in our community? Sure. Do we have bullies and grumpy old men and angry 11 year olds who have iPads? Sure, we have all of those things. But we also have a tremendous amount of positivity and support for each other. If you want honest, balanced feedback, just ask and you will get it from the online drum community. If you wanna collaborate with another drummer, you'll have no trouble finding someone who's up for that. If you have a question and you wanna ask in the comment section of an Instagram post, somebody will chime in and answer you. The term drum friends is a real thing that you'll hear drummers talk about because it's not too uncommon that you'll make friends with someone purely because you both play drums. I think that's awesome. And on a deeper community level, there's a surprising amount of research that I found regarding the tribalistic benefits of playing drums. There's studies that support the idea that playing drums in a group setting can lower cortisol levels and even boost your immune system. There's a 2010 study that shows that toddlers work better together after playing music in a group setting. And there's a reason that all churches and militaries use music to bring people together. It's because it works. Now, I'm not here to quantify all of this for you and to tell you that if you play drums, you'll have no stress and a whole bunch of friends. That might not happen. But if you've ever wondered if this community of drummers, whether online or otherwise, will accept you or support you in playing this instrument, trust me, we will. I taught private drum lessons full time for many years. And one thing I always loved about the drums is that it very quickly reveals somebody's confidence level. Drums are musically very intrusive. And for this reason, it's almost impossible to be the shy drummer. You have the loudest instrument in the room and everyone is using your musical expression to measure time. If you fall apart, everything else falls apart. So every musical moment for a drummer is hinging on that next snare hit or that next bass drum being in the perfect place. And even if one note is not perfectly in place, it's really obvious. So this puts early drummers in a really tough spot. You have a big spotlight on you. You can't play the drums timidly. Drums require you to be supremely decisive. Where does this note go? It goes here, boom. Any version of indecisiveness or hesitancy or timidity, these traits don't work well with this instrument. And for this reason, drums have this weird ability to draw out confidence in people because there's just no other way to play the drums. Now there's also something that happens after a year or so of playing where this intimidation of the large overwhelming instrument begins to kind of dissolve. Drummers start to take ownership over their setup, their sound, their playing style, their technique, their strengths and their weaknesses, and all those other variables that are uniquely ours. This sort of identity that forms after a while was huge for me as a young teenager. It gave me things to talk about and sometimes brag about with my music friends. It gave me gear to save up for and buy. It gave me challenges to complete and be proud of. It taught me the consequences of being lazy or unprepared. This might sound like a weird parallel, but I got a lot of those same benefits of confidence and identity from the skateboarding community when I was growing up. Learning about that industry, making friends, finding my style, my gear preferences. These all gave me a sense of confidence and belonging within a community. I learned who I was, what I liked, uh, what I stood for, what I wanted, all in the context of this one communal activity. So if you've ever wondered if you're confident enough to be a drummer, I'd encourage you to give it a shot. This instrument has a weird way of bringing people out of their shells and inspiring confidence like nothing else on earth that I know of. When we think about 
about studying rhythm, this is usually just a drummer thing. I don't know any guitar players who put uh, a tremendous focus on studying subdivisions or polyrhythms or note values. The thing is, no musician can really survive without any rhythmic knowledge. We all need to know what eighth notes and sixteenth notes are and some of those other basics, but drummers are the only ones who seem to take this study further, mostly because we have to, our whole instrument is based around rhythm. But I've always said that I believe all musicians can benefit from playing the drums. Learning about new patterns, orchestrations, subdividing exercises, counting exercises, limb independence, these things all have crossovers to other instruments. When I was 12 years old, I got a drum set and a guitar in the same year. Now obviously, I favored the drums pretty heavily over the past 18 years since then, uh, but I still had guitars around the entire time. And despite almost never practicing guitar, I'm still way better than I was at guitar when I was 12 years old. And I think this is exclusively because I have much more rhythmic knowledge. The licks that I've been playing for a decade or more are cleaner than they used to be. My timing on guitar is better, my articulation and my feel is better, all because I've used the drums to learn these new rhythmic concepts and expose my ears to new sounds. Because you have to remember, rhythm is at the core of all music. You can write music without melody and you can write music without harmony, but music without rhythm is not really music anymore. So if you're someone who's played drums for a while and you wondered if you would be any good at guitar or bass or piano, give it a shot. I think you'd be pleasantly surprised at how well your drum skills carry over to other instruments. And I think the reverse is true as well. If you're a guitar player or a pianist and you say, I wonder if playing the drums or learning the drums would help me in my original instrument. In this educator's opinion, yes, it definitely would. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you're looking for more lessons like this one, I invite you to come check out my online drum school at orlandodrummer.com. There you'll find hundreds of drum lessons waiting for you and a massive library of drumless play-alongs and tons of other helpful resources for drummers. You can access the members area for seven days on a risk-free trial and join thousands of drummers who are learning and growing every single day. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Adam here, and I will catch you in the next one. Later.